Ever pondered why our ancestors, who hunted their food and gathered wild berries, were stronger, healthier, and lived longer than many of us who have supermarkets at our disposal? As we delve into the world of diets, from the primal age to the present day, we might find ourselves asking, is modern really better? In the beginning, there was the Paleolithic era, an age where the human diet was primarily composed of meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Foods that could be obtained by hunting and gathering. Life was hard, and so were the humans living it. They were robust, fit, and surprisingly free from many of the lifestyle diseases we grapple with today. Fast forward to the Neolithic era, the birth of agriculture. Humans began to grow their own food, leading to the introduction of grains and dairy into our diet. While this shift allowed for larger settled populations and advancements in civilization, it also brought about a change in our health dental problems, skeletal deformities, and a decrease in overall health were some of the consequences of this new diet. As centuries passed, our diet continued to evolve, and with the Industrial Revolution came a significant shift. Food was no longer just about survival or even enjoyment. It became a commodity, something to be mass-produced and sold. Processed foods, high in sugar and unhealthy fats, became a staple in our diet. The result? an increase in obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and a myriad of other health issues. Now, in the 21st century, amid aisles of processed food, a movement is stirring, a return to our roots to the diet of our Paleolithic ancestors. This is the Paleo Diet, a lifestyle that encourages eating whole, unprocessed foods and discourages grains, dairy, and processed foods. But here lies the paradox. While the paleo diet aims to emulate the eating habits of our ancestors, it overlooks one crucial fact. Our ancestors' diet varied greatly depending on where they lived. There was no one-size-fits-all paleo diet. So can we truly return to our ancestral diet in this modern world? In conclusion, our journey from the ancient to the modern diet reveals that while our eating habits have evolved, perhaps not all changes have been for the better. It's clear that the increase in processed foods and decrease in physical activity have adversely affected our health. However, a blind return to ancient diets might not be the solution either. After all, our ancestors' diets were shaped by necessity and availability, not by choice. Remember, the key may not lie in the past or the present, but in a balance. A balance between the natural unprocessed foods of our ancestors and the convenience of our modern world. And with that food for thought, it's time to wrap up today's journey. If you found this exploration thought-provoking, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more intriguing insights. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.